Hi everyone and welcome to How Inez Rolls. I'm getting ready for dinner and I thought I could show you what we're having. Plus I have a new recipe, so let's get started. Right now, Paul's on his way home and he's my griller. So he wanted me to, these are chicken breasts, gross, right? <laughs> but they are marinating in Olive Garden uh, dressing, which we love. I actually love the dressing, but I'm the only one in my family who likes salad dressing. So I will just put that on my salad and the most of it goes to marinating meat. So chicken is gonna be grilled and I'm gonna make some potatoes. I had my father-in-law drop these off yesterday as they went out of town. So I'm gonna make some mashed potatoes with those. And so what I'm making today are uh, corn fritters. Gotta get going. So I was just at the park with the boys for a homeschool group and it, it was a lot of fun. They, they went to um, get wet at a sprinkler park, which was a lot of fun. And then we went to go see some big corn sheep, which are in our valley, but um, sometimes they don't come out, but we were lucky, we found them. So I'm just gonna rinse these off and start getting them ready for boiling. Well, and I wanted to tell you I was at the park because my hair is like bleh. <laughs> but it's okay, because who cares? I'm just making dinner. <laughs> So how many of you make mashed potatoes from scratch? It's just a lot easier and when I buy a big bag of potatoes, I can be guaranteed that I can make something like mashed potatoes out of it because I only need about four or five good sized ones, like about palm size. And that's almost enough for my family. Um, and then I just cut them into smaller chunks, boil them and then fork tender till they're fork tender. And then I just put some uh, milk, some butter, some salt and pepper. It's good. And I just smash them and I'm, I'm easy. Like I leave the skins on. I love it. So it's easy peasy. And, um, um, it's pretty quick. It only takes about 15 minutes or so. Um, and I know that I made them from scratch. <laughs> so that's almost done. And now I'm gonna get the ingredients for the corn fritters. So just using some ingredients at your house, you'll be able to make these yummy corn fritters. I just had to go buy some cornmeal because I don't always have that. But I have everything else. So the recipe card will be at the end of the video like they always are. And I love having them there for everybody. So just take a snapshot and just, or you can wait for the cookbook, the next one. <laughs> yeah, a third of cornmeal and a quarter of flour. Do you guys store your flour in big bins? I do. I, I like getting big bins to have it, and then I just know what I need to go buy. And then it's just kind of you're going to dump everything in. I think the recipe says to hold off on the milk until the end, but, you know, it's up to you. I just want to dump it all in. Um, baking powder. Oh, I forgot baking powder. So... This baking powder I got from Winco in their open bins. So I like to, to, to sift it. I've noticed I can sometimes get little clumpies. And if you're finding that your food is getting a little salty or tangy in weird spots, it could be the baking powder. Um, so just a half of a teaspoon. And then everything else is like a half a teaspoon, like salt and pepper. And then some parsley, it calls for some parsley, fresh parsley, but I'm just gonna do some parsley flakes. So just a little. Since uh, dried ingredients tend to be more potent and smaller dosage, so to say. Um, and then I'll add the corn, it's like two cups, and then I'll show you what that looks like. So it looks kind of like this, but I will tell you I goofed. So I don't think you should add frozen corn because as soon as I added the frozen corn I made corn covered um corn meal covered ice cream pops so just do yourself a favor if you don't have grilled corn just get yourself a can of corn <laughs> and I had to redo it it was kind of funny looking but good thing I have all these ingredients on hand so I'm only out about a dollar or so um so what I'm gonna do is got, I'm getting this pan hot with a little bit of oil in it and then I'm just going to be putting and frying them um, about a third a cup, little patties, and it's gonna make the best corn fritter. So you can just see I put them in there and they're gonna cook for a few minutes but I just used my little, a little bit left, maybe like one more or so. And I have my spatula. 
ready to flip. So I'm gonna check on them, but they're gonna cook for a couple minutes, so stay tuned. They are sizzling quickly, looking good. I thought I'd show you really quick, like how I make my smashed potatoes. So I've already drained the water and I put the potatoes back into the pot. So it's really full, so I wanna be extra careful. But I put about half a stick of butter and I'm just gonna kind of start mixing it in. I'm also going to add uh, a little bit of milk in here. So I'm just kind of breaking it up. I wanted to return it back to the pot and then turn it on a low heat so it um, evaporates more of the water because you don't want mushy, mealy, put broken down potatoes. So, 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 so easy. So I'm just gonna start adding some salt and pepper and my milk now. I've already put the salt in and I really have a hard time with salt and things because I'm so sensitive to salt. So I try to go on the left side and then I think, oh, my family and people probably want more and then I overdo it. So <laughs> yeah, it's not fun for me, but they're like, it tastes great. And I'm thinking it's so salty. <laughs> okay, so I just probably under salted them because I think they could just salt their own. Um, so it's just, it's pretty easy. You can already kind of see it forming. I added some more butter and I'm just gonna put the lid on and call it done and then it'll be nice and ready for all melted and ready for us to scoop out. Ta-da! So take a look at these corn cakes. So they suggest serving them nice and warm. So I'm going to do that as soon as Paul uh, finishes the grill and um, they're really good. So it's more savory than, it's not sweet at all. Mmm, super good. So that'll be a nice side. So tonight we're having chicken and mashed potatoes and corn cakes. And I'll also put a little veggie tray out. Dinner is almost put together, but I had to share one thing. I just got the sweetest card from Amanda Tran. That is so thoughtful and you are so, so kind. I love it and I can't wait to go spend my little gift card. I'm so excited. Thank you so much, Amanda. So here's my yummy plate. Say hi, Jonas. <laughs> Your stuff's already on the table. Corn cakes are right here. The corn uh, fritters, mashed potatoes, and the barbecue chicken, and some veggies. Super yummy dinner. So what did you have for dinner tonight? Let me know in the comments. And you never know what I'll be rolling out next.